know, we always said that, you know, we'll go to the ends of the earth to meet the podcast fans and look around. We this did. This is the end of the much. earth. This is coming to us. Oh, my God. You okay? What would a guy that works at the U.S. Capitol, a gymnastics coach, a drill instructor, a Japanese housewife, and an Australian miner in the outback, what in the hell could they possibly have in common? And it's podcasting. Because it's the, the podcast fan is a very tech savvy person sure, right now because yeah. it's still it's eighty percent of the population doesn't even know what it is podcast podcast. So when you go to cities, it's a the, long MP3. Yes, yeah, <laughs> what it's it is. Like, oh, it's changed the dialogue between fans and comedians. I don't do you can't do stand up anymore. You have to be honest. It's insane. It's really changed the dialogue, and you can't talk shit about anyone anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, podcasts are this kind of like audio representation of the internet, which is that whatever you're into, there's probably somebody talking about it right now. So if you like regurgitating food into other people's mouths, like a bird, and then having, I'm sure that there's a podcast. When I'm racing and for me, listening, just blocking the world out, listening to someone else have a conversation or listen to a fun, something fun going on. I think every comedian or everybody, especially comedians because we perform, but you hope the vehicle that brings you to the public matches who you are. And there's no doubt that the audience that comes out to see you because of your podcast, they're perfect. We realized pretty quickly like, oh, this is a thing. This is something that something's happening. And it wasn't some other company or some other thing we were chasing. It's just like, Let's just do something that we enjoy doing. Just from plugging this microphone into a laptop, we have friends all over the world. We were making a documentary about crazy people who talked into microphones for free and pretended they had their own radio shows. It was a time of mass delusion. You see, these people were doing something that they ordinarily would have aspired to get paid to do.